Chapter 581, Scheme, 3. When Shen Zai's family of five died, Shen Feng was distraught and used all the power of the Vermilion Bird clan to trace the murderer, but he never found out who the person was. And then soon afterward, Shen Yang Xiao's father and the youngest son of Shen Feng, Shen Yu, had also suffered from a vicious attack together with his family. All of these were still unsolved mysteries until now, yet Shen Yu I was afraid that the death of his eldest brother and sixth brother had something to do with Shen Duan. However, he dared not ask any more question, fearing that he might become the next person to suffer. That then I'll rely on second brother. Shen Yu swallowed his saliva and felt as if his brother suddenly became a stranger. Shen Duan sneered that is natural. At the third day after returning to the imperial capital, Shen Yang Xiao met the emperor and received the letter of appointment to the barren land from the emperor's hands. After getting the letter of appointment, Shen Yang Xiao went back to the Vermilion Bird clan. Staring at the words the rising sun won, written in the letter of appointment, she was lost in thoughts. 1, colon English meaning, the sun never sets. Note. We can't think of a pleasing English name close to the meaning so we took the roundabout way. Since the sun never sets in that place, it means it is where the sun rises. Thus the rising sun city. Yeah screw it. The city given to her by the emperor was called the rising sun city. It was located in the eastern part of the barren land. All four countries of the radiance continent were connected to the barren land respectively. Among the four corners, the closest to the Longzhu Armed Empire was the East Corner. Xu, do you know about the Rising Sun City? Shen Yang Xiao was sitting cross-legged on top of her bed as she carefully looked at the letter of appointment again. The Barren Land is the stronghold of the demon race. They have a total of seven headquarters in the entire Barren Land, and the Rising Sun City is the demon race's headquarters in the East. Xu answered. Headquarters? Shen Yang Xiao slightly raised her eyebrow. The area of the Rising Sun City is comparable to the imperial capital of Longzhu An Empire, but because it used to be one of the headquarters of the demon race, the level of the demons there is very high, and the population of lower demons there is also very dense. Oh, the emperor is really generous to give me such a big place. Shen Yang Xiao chuckled loudly in the bed. But her smile did not reach the bottom of her eyes. This seemingly generous reward was brewing with dangers. If one gets such a large block of land in normal areas, anyone would probably die from happiness. But the rising sun city was located in the barren land, and the bigger the land was, the more demons were there to eradicate and the more defenses and city equipment needed to be built. In the past, the winners of the Longzhu Armed Empire School Tournament would be assigned to smaller cities so as to avoid a large number of demons and reduce the workload. However, the arrangement of this emperor today was quite surprising. It seems that the emperor has a good opinion on my profession. How could Shen Yang Xiao not guess the idea of the emperor? Just recalling the disgust in the emperor's eyes when he gave this letter of appointment to her, she knew that the barren land task this time would be absolutely difficult. The champions of the previous school tournaments were not even able to consolidate a small city, yet the emperor suddenly gave such a big land to her this time, this showed that he did not really want her to successfully build a city. However, this was still in line with Shen Yang Xiao's plan since her main purpose was to capture those demons. Instead of fearing that the numbers of demons were a lot, she was more afraid that these demons would be not enough to satisfy Xu's appetite. Xu, you should know some news about the barren land. What do you think we need to prepare this time? Shen Yang Xia inquired Xu's opinion. She always felt that Xu's understanding of the barren land surpassed everyone. And Xu's answer did not disappoint her. If you want to rebuild the rising sun city, it will be hard to do that without thousands of people. However, your main purpose should be to subdue all the demons living in that place first. Or else, even if you bring ten thousands of people there, I'm afraid that it will be all for nothing. Chapter 582, Goodbye Small Phoenix, 1. First of all, there was a large group of demons in the barren land. The moment she brought people to construct the city, the workers would turn into demons rations in minutes. Second. The purpose of Shen Yang Xiao was to put the demons in her captivity, not to snap every bone in their bodies. So bringing huge forces to slaughter the demons was out of the question. Now, 
The problem that Shen Yang Xiao had to face was how many people did she have to bring? After counting with her fingers, the trustworthy people Shen Yang Xiao had right now on her side could be divided into two waves. One wave was the group of people with mixed bloods from the Sun Graveyard who were currently fostered in the casino and the other one was the Cave Wolves Mercenary Corps. These two waves of people, Shen Yang Xiao was sure that they would not bring her any trouble, and the number of these people added up together was only more than a hundred people. If they were placed before the thousand forces of demons, they really could not create any storm. Shen Yang Xiao decided that before going to the barren land, she would first head to the casino at the side of Holy Roland School and to the Black City to take these two waves of people away. However, to subdue those demons in a short period of time, she alone was still not enough. That group of people in Uncle Ju's side was basically a group of rustic villagers. They simply had no idea of their own strength, so she would not consider using them to deal with the demons. And while the strength of the Cave Wolves Mercenary Corps was good, if they had a confrontation with the demons, there would more or less be some damage. Therefore, Shen Yang Xiao decided, instead of fighting with the demons and reducing their numbers, she would use absolute force to suppress those demons, and at the same time, discuss to them the issue of being under her wing. And the powers to suppress those demons, Shen Yang Xiao only had three in her hands, herself, Vermilion Bird, and the adorably stupid killing god. Stroking her chin, Shen Yang Xiao sat up again and felt that the chips in her hands still seemed a little insufficient. That's it. Shen Yang Xiao suddenly thought of something. She immediately stood up and ran to Vermilion Bird's room. Vermilion Bird was sitting in front of the table and enjoying the table of food. The dumplings stuffed into his mouth had not been swallowed up yet when he suddenly saw his master burst into the room. The small phoenix stood on a plate and was struggling with a giant shrimp dumpling. Vermilion Bird blinked his eyes. Vermilion Bird. Bring the small phoenix and take me to your in-law's home. Shen Yang Xiao said hurriedly. In-law's home? Vermilion Bird was dumbfounded. Numerous question marks hovered in his mind. When did he have this kind of thing? Was not that the term used for the family of the other person once they married? How come he did not know when he had married? Lava Valley. Shen Yang Xiao cleared it for him. Can't you speak proper words? Vermilion Bird was speechless. This master of him would pop up one or two ridiculous words from time to time. It made him really sad. Hurry up. Don't dilly dally. Shen Yang Xiao hurriedly urged, Vermilion Bird could only reluctantly put his chopsticks down. He picked up the small phoenix who was still lying on the dumplings and threw it on his head. The small phoenix immediately became upset. It had not eaten enough food yet, how could you separate it from the food? This was abuse. Child abuse was subjected to sanctions. The small phoenix protested with an open mouth while pulling Vermilion Bird's hair. There was that much food yet you did not let me eat my fill. I would fight with you. In desperation, Vermilion Bird could only take a dumpling and put it on his head. He deeply felt that his head would soon become a bird's nest. The news that Shen Yang Xiao was going to the Lava Valley quickly spread to Shen Feng's ear. Shen Feng said nothing and instead directly ordered people to prepare a carriage for her. Chapter 583, Goodbye Small Phoenix, 2 The very moment the carriage appeared, Vermilion Bird's face turned green. He would rather transform into his beast form and fly all the way while carrying Shen Yang Xiao than to ride the carriage. He definitely would not get on the carriage. Naturally, Lan Feng Lai would also follow. So Shen Yang Xiao held Lan Feng Lai with her left hand and the small phoenix in her right hand. After Vermilion Bird transformed, she sat cross-legged on his back, facing the wind and humming a song heading toward the Lava Valley. It took less than a day for Vermilion Bird to fly their way to Lava Valley. Vermilion Bird once again transformed himself into a human being. Looking at the place which originally belonged to him, he burst into tears inwardly. Now, this place had been occupied by two phoenixes, and it was personally handed over by his own master. If he tried to run away from home now, he would not be able to find a real home. Three figures walked in the blazing Lava Valley 
and the heat of the surrounding could not hurt them at all. The small phoenix finally ate up the whole dumpling. It lay on the million bird's head in contentment and rested. Such a small lump could actually make a snoring sound. Nothing had changed in the lava valley. Shen Yangxiao and the rest had smoothly entered the cave. Pretty soon, they saw the two phoenixes sleeping in their nests inside that huge cave. Two giant phoenixes sleeping in the cave made the inside appear crowded. Shen Yangxiao looked at two sleeping phoenixes not knowing how should she wake them up. Fortunately, the two phoenixes noticed the unfamiliar breath and woke up gradually. The next moment, two massive red flames wrapped them up. After the flames faded, the male and female phoenix appeared in front of the trio in their human form. Long time no see. The male phoenix smiled and looked at the guests standing in the cave. The female phoenix nestled beside him. Her eyes were stubbornly staring at the small phoenix on the head of Vermilion Bird. Shen Yang Xiao froze for a moment. When she first met these phoenixes, she was wearing a face-changing mask. How could these two phoenixes not feel a bit strange when they saw her as if they had recognized her at a glance? Magical beasts can rely on breath to identify the other's identity, so your change in appearance has no effect on them. Xu's voice sounded in a timely manner to solve Shen Yang Xiao's question. Are you guys already used to living here? Shen Yang Xiao smiled. That saved her the trouble of introducing herself. Thank you for your help. It is very suitable for us to live here. We are very grateful for the help of your family during these times. The male phoenix gave his sincere thanks. Having a quiet residence was the most concern of the magical beasts. No need to be polite. It's just a compensation to you. Shen Yang Xiao chuckled and noticed the petite female phoenix staring at the small phoenix on Vermilion Bird's head. She reached out and took the small phoenix down and stepped forward. She passed the sleeping cute small phoenix to the female phoenix. The female phoenix excitedly looked at their baby who was sleeping in her arms. Her eyes were dripping with tears. But after looking at it for a while, she was somewhat puzzled and raised her head to look at Shen Yang Xiao and Vermilion Bird. How come it hasn't shed its fur yet? Shed its fur? Shen Yang Xiao blinked. The male phoenix explained. Our child has a layer of fur on its body when it was born, but within the next months it will gradually shed and grew real feathers. However, it is several months old now, but its body is still covered with fur which makes us a little curious. Shen Yang Xiao was dumbfounded. She really did not know there was such a thing. Chapter 584, Goodbye Small Phoenix, 3. Ever since the small phoenix started following them, it always had this kind of appearance. Although Vermilion Bird disliked its appearance, he actually took care of it very carefully. Even when it came to food, he would let the little guy pick what he likes first and wait for it to be full before he ate himself. In a sense, Shen Yang Xiao felt that Vermilion Bird had the potential to be a father. A slightly proud and pampered father. I don't know. It always looks like that. Shen Yang Xiao had some doubts. The small phoenix always had a good night's sleep. Not to mention about shedding the fur on his whole body, not even a single hair was lost. The female phoenix touched the small phoenix fluffy hair and said, What do you usually give this child to eat? What we eat, it eats. Shen Yang Xiao told the truth. The male and female phoenix looked at each other and finally understood where the problem was. My friend, our child is still too young. There's no way for it to completely digest the food you humans eat. Though your food can make sure it doesn't feel hungry, it doesn't make it grow. Shen Yang Xiao recalled that very happy picture of the small phoenix as it cheerfully stuffed a dumpling in its mouth. She murmured in her heart, although young children generally drink milk, the small phoenix was able to enjoy other things without any pressure at all. Did it really have to drink milk? It's our fault for not telling you beforehand. We phoenix, at a young age, are drinking dew drops to grow. Fortunately, this child is still young, it's still not too late to change its food. The phoenix did not blame Shen Yang Xiao at all. Putting their own child under her care already made them quite guilty. How could they still have the face to blame her? Besides, Shen Yang Xiao was still basically a young child. How could they expect a child to know how to raise a baby? Raz P, and a baby phoenix at that. Heck, even an adult human would not know how to raise a baby beast, unless that is their job. XD. That's good. 
Shen Yang Xiao nodded before recalling her purpose for this trip. She said, in fact, today, I want to return the small phoenix to you. The phoenix is asked, is our child too naughty that it brings you trouble? Shen Yang Xiao shook her head. The small phoenix is very cute and very well behaved, but I will soon go to the barren land where the demons are rampant. It's not safe there and I'm afraid I can't fully take care of the small phoenix, so I decided to send it back. Barren land? When the two phoenixes heard that Shen Yang Xiao was going to the barren land, their faces showed a bit of surprised look. The barren land once used to be the demon race's land. It was very dangerous there. I wonder why you are going. For you humans, the existence of the demons is too dangerous. If you may, please think about it again carefully. The male phoenix said sincerely. Because Shen Yang Xiao gave them a new lair and helped them take care of the small phoenix, they had already treated this human a friend of their own. Magical beasts were definitely more loyal to their friends than humans were. Shen Yang Xiao said, I'm aware that that place is full of danger, but I definitely must go. You may not know but we human beings have human rules. I received a mission and must rebuild the city in the barren land. I must stay over there until I complete the mission. The two phoenixes exchanged a glance between themselves and were hesitant. Are you really going? Shen Yang Xiao nodded. Then, you should be more careful. If you need help, you can let people tell us and we will do our best to lend you a hand. The phoenixes promised. Shen Yang Xiao smiled. Hearing the phoenixes say this sentence, her trip was not in vain. The small phoenix was already handed over to its real parents. Shen Yang Xiao intended to leave now. Chapter 585, Goodbye Small Phoenix, 4 Before leaving, Vermilion Bird walked to the female phoenix's side and looked at the small ball that had been on his head for several months. A hint of nostalgia emerged in his proud eyes. You little thing, I can finally get out of your clutches. I also want to be free. Later, be sure to obediently listen to your parents. Vermilion Bird raised his hand and poked the small phoenix in a deep sleep with his finger. The small phoenix seemed to feel something. He opened his eyes dazedly and looked at Vermilion Bird's finger on his body. He habitually leaned on it and rubbed himself against it. Vermilion Bird smiled dryly and recovered his hand, then he returned to Shen Yang Xiao's side, ready to leave. However, when the small phoenix looked at the departing back of Vermilion Bird, it seemed to wake up from a great stimulation, and suddenly spread its wings and jump out of the female phoenix's arms. The female phoenix cried out in alarm. She helplessly watched the small phoenix's walk diligently with its two short legs to chase Vermilion Bird while making anxious tweets. Chirp, chirp. The small phoenix did not know what was going on. It just felt that his loved ones were leaving him behind and did not want him anymore. A great panic spread inside its heart. Even if it was still young, even if its footsteps was slow, it did not give up and desperately fling towards the back of Vermilion Bird. However, it could only helplessly watch as Vermilion Bird's figure became farther and farther away. Chirp. The small phoenix panicked. It did not give up to continue to catch up. Its little feet continued to step on the ground until it finally stumbled on the ground. The small voice alerted the small figure in front of him. Vermilion Bird turned his head around and looked at the small phoenix who fell to the ground and tried to lift his head to look at him. It was as if he could see a trace of tears from that ignorant pair of big eyes. Vermilion Bird felt a bit uncomfortable. This feeling was different from the panic he had felt when Shen Yang Xiao disappeared. He could not tell what it actually was though. The distressed female phoenix hurriedly walked forward to hold the small phoenix in her arms, but the small phoenix had no time to take note of others. It once again jumped out from the female phoenix's bosom and pounced onto Vermilion Bird. This the female phoenix looked at their child who was giving people headaches. The small phoenix was obviously reluctant to leave Vermilion Bird. After hesitating again and again, the male phoenix finally said, Friends. Please wait a bit, Shen Yang Xiao slowly turned around and looked puzzledly at the two phoenixes. What's the matter? That, it seems my child doesn't want to leave you. How about this, if you are really going to the barren land, we will go with you. We also owed you a favor before and we certainly must repay it. The male phoenix slowly opened his mouth. This was also the decision he made after careful consideration. The small phoenix was not willing to leave Million Bird. Even if they forcefully leave it behind, 
He only feared that the small phoenix would not be happy for some time in the future. Moreover, they were very worried about the fact that Shen Yangxia would go to the barren land. The current situation made them simply make a decision to accompany Shen Yangxia on her trip. Not only it could appease the small phoenix, they could also repay Shen Yangxia for her kindness. This satisfied both parties. Shen Yangxia froze for a moment and a hint of joy appeared on her face. Really? Really? The male phoenix nodded. Thank you. I will then trouble you in the future. Shen Yangxiao expressed her gratitude. The female phoenix embraced the constantly struggling small phoenix before she handed it over to Vermilion Bird. The moment it was near Vermilion Bird, the small phoenix fluttered with its two wings. It climbed onto Vermilion Bird's head in rapid breathing, and tightly bit on Vermilion Bird's hair, fearing that Vermilion Bird would drop it again. Chapter 586 do you dare to be a little more shameless? Looking at the small phoenix's actions, the other people in the cave could not help but smile. No one noticed that Shen Yangxiao's eyes flashed a strange smile. She touched the small phoenix lying on Vermilion Bird's head and muttered in a voice only she could hear, Loving you little guy is definitely not in vain. In fact, from the very beginning, Shen Yangxiao planned to use this small phoenix to make the two big phoenixes aboard her ship. Although the barren land was dangerous, it was very difficult for the small phoenix to be in danger under the protection of Vermilion Bird. The reason why she had to return the small phoenix to the male phoenix and female phoenix at this time was to let them willingly go with her. With the dependence of the small phoenix on Vermilion Bird, it was absolutely impossible to separate the small phoenix to them now. Moreover, from the very start, she had shown that it was necessary for her to go to the barren land. Whether it was for repaying a debt of gratitude or for the safety of their child, the two phoenixes were bound to follow her. It had to be said that Shen Yangxiao's scheme was resounding enough. Steadily grasping the two phoenixes' vulnerable spot, and let them unknowingly aboard her pirate ship, and it was voluntarily even, the two phoenixes would never know until death that they had been sold out by Shen Yangxiao, and after they were sold, they still smiled and helped her count her money. The small phoenix was such a great swindling chip. The addition of the two phoenixes increased Shen Yangxiao's confidence. She now had three mythological beasts in her hands. Never mind creating a city in the barren land, even if it was across the Radiance continent, it would definitely be a cinch. Shen Yangxiao told the two phoenixes that she would set off after seven days and then let the two phoenixes wait for her outside the gates of the imperial capital. After experiencing a brief separation from Vermilion Bird, the small phoenix was unwilling to leave Vermilion even for half a step. Shen Yangxiao's mood was flying upward when she left the lava valley with the small phoenix and others. Vermilion Bird watched his master's satisfied smile at this moment and finally realized it. You've been trying to dupe the two phoenixes to go with you to the barren land from the very start, right? Shen Yangxiao stretched out a finger and shook it. Dupe is not the right word for that, it is called a stratagem. While speaking, she wondered where did this little guy Vermilion Bird learn the word dupe. Vermilion Bird snorted and looked at his master with contempt. Shameless, too shameless. Abducting others child was not enough, she actually swindled others parents as well. This kind of thing could only be done by his master whose shamelessness knew no bounds. Shen Yangxiao shrugged her shoulders and directly took Vermilion Bird's contempt as a compliment. Patting Vermilion Bird's shoulder, Shen Yangxiao said, don't talk any more nonsense, hurry and bring me back as I have a bunch of things to deal with. There were many things Shen Yangxia wanted to prepare for building a city in the barren land. There were demons on all sides of the barren land. She had to get everything ready. Food, herbs, tools, clothes, medicines, would be the most precious things in the barren land. Real gold coins were the most worthless thing there. So Shen Yangxiao planned to go back to the imperial capital quickly and start preparing everything. And these preparations ultimately needed money. Money, this kind of thing had never been a problem for Shen Yangxiao. Everything that could be solved with money was not a problem for her. However, she did not think that these gold coins needed to buy things should come out of her own pocket. Since she had returned to the imperial capital, this rich land, then, of course, it was natural to draw on local resources. 
Chapter 587, Do You Dare to Be a Little More Shameless? 2. The imperial capital that had been enjoying a quiet life for about half a year ushered in someone's evil claws once again. The whole night, all those who could be regarded as a wealthy family in the imperial capital had suffered from a treacherous assault and a large number of gold coins had vanished into thin air yet not a single valuable things were missing. The two who had the most losses were the state treasury and the largest bank in the imperial capital. Every wealthy home in the entire imperial capital exploded in anger early in the next morning. All the indignant people posted a reward to apprehend the unscrupulous thief, determined to beat the crap out of that person. Meanwhile, that certain unscrupulous little thief who had just returned from a rewarding journey just went inside one of the shops in the imperial capital. She generously bought ten storage rings with a storage space of 100 square meters, and then immediately entered the market. Afterward, as soon as she entered a shop, Shen Yangxia waved her hand and pointed around the shop full of things. This, 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 I don't want them, everything else wrapped up for me. This degree of nouveau riche was simply unheard of, and she did not even bother to bargain at all. It really made the bosses of the shops wild with joy. Five medicine shops in the imperial capital had been swept away, seven clothing stores were bought completely, in twelve food shops, even a single grain of rice could not be found and three weapons shops could not be seen with any decent daggers anymore. This was such a very marvelous day. When the wealthy families who had been patronized by the unscrupulous thief were weeping, the shop owners who sold all their stock were crying with joy while facing up the sky. Several families were happy and several were grieving. With this kind of speed of squandering money, Shen Yangxiao actually only filled two of the storage rings she had bought. The stocks in the shop were very limited. It was quite difficult to store up enough things. About this point, Shen Yangxiao found the four animals that came back together with her. In the most luxurious restaurant in the imperial capital, Shen Yangxiao generously invited a total of five people the four animals plus an additional family member to come. Sitting in a magnificent and extravagant private room, the four animals were looking at Shen Yangxiao's face which was radiating happiness with a meaningful expression. What did you do last night? Tang Nazi narrowed his eyes, watching the grinning Shen Yangxiao. Although he threw an interrogative sentence, his tone was extremely positive. You absolutely did it. Yang Zai was very sure. It was really savage. Yan Ye sighed and shook his head. Cheeksia just chuckled. It was rare for him not to open his mouth to spit out some words of ridicule. Li Xiao I, on one side, however, was unable to make head or tail of the mysterious words of the few animals. What are you talking about? Li Xiao I could not help but ask. Tang Nazi put a hand on his own brother's shoulder and said, Last night. 230 wealthy families in the imperial capital had been robbed. The loss amounted to more than 50 million gold coins. 50 more than 50 million gold coins? Li Xiao swallowed his saliva with great difficulty. He grew up as a commoner, not to mention 50 million gold coins, he had not even seen 5,000 gold coins. Who did it? Li Xiao asked. For a moment, the eyes of several other people in the room traveled all the way to see Shen Yangxiao who was holding chopsticks. Li Xiao blinked his eyes, somewhat unable to believe it. You shouldn't be saying. Li Xiao's eyes words had not yet been spoken when he suddenly saw Shen Yangxiao raised her other hand. A glittering and translucent crystal pendant swayed on her hand. Li Xiao's face darkened. This pendant was given to him after his return to the Black Tortoise clan. Chapter 588, Do You Dare to Be a Little More Shameless? 3. That pendant was given to him after his return to the Black Tortoise clan. But he clearly remembered that he had put it in his clothes, so how did Shen Yangxiao get it? Tang Nazi looked meaningfully at his own brother's solemn face and said, Believe me, everything you see is real, this little girl is definitely a thief who is more vicious than the silver hands. Shen Yangxiao raised an eyebrow and threw the crystal pendant to Li Xiao I. Li Xiao I still felt that all of this was somewhat bizarre. Say, you're such in good mood today for inviting us to have a meal. There should be something you'd like to talk about, right? Chi Xia lazily supported his chin, watching Shen Yangxiao who was happily eating. Shen Yangxiao put down her chopsticks and said, N. What's the matter? Shopping. What? 
Li Xiao I looked at the other people with some doubts. Tang Nazi wiped his face and glanced at his brother who had ruined the pattern one. One? The repeat of, cough. Do you mean you want to buy something from us? Yang Zai cleared his throat. He thought that the words coming from Shen Yang Xiao's mouth were sometimes really difficult to comprehend. A godly thief that could steal anything still needed to spend money to buy things? Are you kidding us? This was the first reaction of Tang Nazi. Shen Yang Xiao gave him a sidelong glance and slowly said, I am going to the barren land and I am bringing a hundred people there. The border between the barren land and the Long Xuan Empire has a certain distance. I don't wish to eat roasted sweet potatoes at that time. Not to mention I have to sit for three days in a carriage. Oh, do you want to eat roasted sweet potatoes right now? You should have said earlier. Waiter, please roast some sweet potatoes. Tang Nazi exclaimed. Can you get even more stupid? Shen Yang Xiao was speechless, Tang as he grinned, joke, joke, what do you need, food, things, clothes, Shen Yang Xiao said very pragmatically, the four animals looked at each other, do you think we are running several shops, almost, Shen Yang Xiao really nodded, the few animals wiped out a cold sweat, I can provide weapons, Yang Zai said calmly, I can pack up medicines, Yan Yu continued, as long as the money is in place, I can help you with other things. As someone who was born in a family running an unscrupulous business for generations, Cheek Seer's heroic spirit rocketed. On the other hand, Tang Nazi was depressed. The specialty of the Black Tortoise clan was troops formation strategy, but this kind of thing could not be packaged and sold. All right. Shen Yang Xiao simply gave out three storage rings and then threw out three purple crystal cards before she said like a nouveau riche, draw how much money needed as long as you fill up the ring. Tang Nazi felt that he had been ignored, he was disregarded and he could not find his sense of existence because his family's thing could not be sold. The three animals had received the ring and the card. The first thing they did was to open the ring to see its size. The next second, the three animals' face turned all black. She wanted them to fill up a 100 square meters storage ring. Was this little lass really going to open up a city in the barren land or did she just want to squander money? Even wealthy people were not as wasteful of money as this. Shen Yang Xiao seemed to think of something again. She looked at the side of the depressed Tang Nazi. In fact, you can also help me to buy something. What thing? Tang Nazi felt his sense of presence had once again improved horses and carriages. If more than 100 people sat on Vermilion Bird all the way to the barren land, she feared that Vermilion Bird would directly fume in anger. Oh, yes, how many? 100 horses, 40 carriages. It would be better if he did not ask anything. Chapter 589, Corporation, 1. After storing a large number of supplies, Shen Yang Xiao was finally ready to set off for the barren land. Next, she had two months to gain a firm foothold in the barren land. After that, the Long Xuan Empire would send someone to visit and check the construction of her city. The Million Bird disliked the carriage to the extreme, so when Shen Yang Xiao was out of the city, he did not ride a carriage. The carriages and horses brought up by Tang Nazi were sent by the four animals henchmen to the border of Long Xuan Empire. Shen Yang Xiao and the others would take a step forward and would pick it up once they reached the borders. The two phoenixes transformed into human form and accompanied Shen Yang Xiao on her trip. They rode Vermilion Bird and flew to Black City. After reaching the Black City, Shen Yang Xiao ordered Vermilion Bird and Lan Feng Lai to go to the casino and took Uncle Ju and others with them while she was going to talk about cooperation with Du Lang. After a few months of repairs, the cave's wolves mercenary corps had already returned to its peak status. The four mercenaries rescued by Uncle Ju had already returned to the team. They told Du Lang and others everything they heard about what happened in the village. They also told them that Uncle Ju and the other villagers were no longer in an unstable state. Shen Yang Xiao stood in front of the door of the cave wolves mercenary corps. The male and female phoenix stood at her sides. The two mercenaries who was guarding the door were not that old. When they saw the delicate and beautiful little girl standing by the door, the expressions on their faces looked a bit stiff. They made a handsome appearance by sticking their chest out and putting on an upright expression. From time to time, 
they would secretly glance at Shen Yang Xiao. How could such a beautiful young lady appear in front of the door of their mercenary corps? Was she perhaps a guest? They became excited when they thought that their own mercenary corps would soon be working for such a beautiful little girl. Is Head Du Lang inside? Shen Yang Xiao asked with a smile. Secretly wiping his drool, one of the mercenaries stammered and said, In inside. Is it a trouble if you lead the way? I have something to discuss with Head Du Lang. Shen Yang Xiao knew these two mercenaries from before, but at that time, these two guys had the attitude of a big brother. They did not have the stiffness they had right now, and both of them was not shy as this. Good good. The young mercenary looked a little embarrassed. Seeing Shen Yang Xiao's exquisite little face so close, he felt that his heart was about to jump out. Shen Yang Xiao walked into the Cave Wolf Mercenary Corps headquarters under the direction of the mercenary. It was afternoon and a lot of members of the Cave Wolves Mercenary Corps took over some tasks in the headquarters. When they saw the sudden appearance of Shen Yang Xiao, they were particularly stunned. Several careless young mercenaries were even too fascinated that they directly hit the pillars in the room, bringing in the laughter of their fellows. Du Lang had fully recovered. At this time, he was sitting in the hall and speaking with the six wolves. After receiving the notification from other mercenaries, he met Shen Yang Xiao. This guest has a task to interrupt. Du Lang was after all not in the prime of his youth anymore. Although he was stunned at the beauty of Shen Yang Xiao, he did not reveal the least bit of helplessness. It was the other six wolves who were watching Shen Yang Xiao with sharp eyes. It must be known that most of the mercenaries were bachelors. They were usually occupied with their tasks and they had no time to see a woman. Now that such a delicate and beautiful woman appeared in their mercenary corps, how could these men who had been longing for opposite gender not looked dumbstruck? Even if they knew that this beautiful flower would not belong to them. Who did not love to see such a beauty? Just looking was also good. Shen Yang Xiao chuckled and said slowly, I haven't seen Head Du for months. It was very good that you have already recovered, I am finally relieved. Chapter 590, Corporation, 2. The familiar voice made Du Lang slightly surprised. He stared at the strange little beauty in front of him and hesitated for a long time before he asked, Kuo Xiao? Exactly. Shen Yang Xiao nodded. Du Lang's expression collapsed immediately. How come it's you? Du Lang's eyes stared intently at the completely transformed Shen Yang Xiao. He could not believe his own eyes. The little young boy who had never looked handsome before suddenly turned into a beautiful little lady whose looks could destroy a city. He felt that this thing was somewhat difficult to digest. At the same time, Six clatter noises resounded. The six wolves who were sitting on the sidelines while admiring the beauty all fell to the ground at the same time. Each of them was stunned as they watched Shen Yang Xiao. Their shock were far worse than Du Lang's. I came here because I have something to discuss with Head Du Lang. Shen Yang Xiao delightedly glanced at the six wolves' sluggish appearance. She was secretly feeling smug. That's right, little guys. You all made an error of judgment for this gentleman is a woman. The six wolves quietly crawled back to their seats, each of them remembering the memories they had with Huo Xiao. Their little brother suddenly became a little beauty, it really frightened them very much. Their desire of acquiring the beauty became a hopeless case at once. When Shen Yang Xiao was still using her identity as Huo Xiao, Though they did not bully her, they had entirely treated her as their little brother that the vulgar and foul words they said in front of her were not any less, and they also almost dragged her to take a bath together with them a couple of times. With these thoughts in mind, the faces of the six great gentlemen turned red. What's the matter you want to discuss? Du Lang, in any case, had already experienced some great waves. After taking in the new identity of Shen Yang Xiao, he brought the topic back. I have a task here and it is a long-term task. I don't know whether Big Brother Du is interested to receive it and discuss the price. Shen Yang Xiao said full of smiles. Du Lang looked at Shen Yang Xiao and he dared to bet his entire fortune that the task of this little girl was definitely not simple. Just the task of getting the skeleton flower had already nearly wiped them. This task would obviously be much more difficult than the skeleton flower. Moreover, this was a long-term task even. Only Ghost knew what kind of task this was. First, you three please sit down, and then we can talk about it slowly. 
Du Lang noticed the man and the woman beside Shen Yang Xiao. The appearance of these two people completely stood out. The temperament emitting from their bodies were different from an ordinary person. Du Lang could also feel that the strength of these two individuals was absolutely above him. Yet, even though Shen Yang Xiao had these two powerful people, she still actually wanted to find him. This task really made him curious. Shen Yang Xiao, along with the two phoenixes sat down. Well, it's actually like this, I will soon build a city in the barren land, but I cannot do this alone. But if I just casually find someone from other mercenary corps to help me, I won't feel relief. However, I have cooperated with Big Brother Du for several times already and gets along well with you. That's why I would like to ask Big Brother Du and the other brothers of the Cave Wolves Mercenary Corps to accompany me to build a city in the barren land. Shen Yang Xiao said systematically and in full detail. She didn't even hide any matter. Barren. Land? Du Lang felt at lost. In Long Zhuan Empire. The only one who could obtain the power to build a city in the barren land was the champion of each school tournament. And the champion of this year's school tournament, apparently, it seems to be, a warlock. Du Lang gasped. 